You know that golden telescope we humans built? It's taken some mind-blowing pictures of space. Right now, well, it turns out it's so powerful it might have just shattered our understanding of the universe. A revolution in our understanding of the universe is coming, and the source of transformational insights is the James Webb Space Telescope's groundbreaking observations themselves. The whole world was gobsmacked when the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, released its first clutch of images showing us the universe like never before. It was the $10 billion U.S. gift to the world, and now the telescope continues to stun us when it captures the farthest individual star known in the universe. Revealing the discovery challenges are theories of stellar evolution itself. Join us today as we uncover James Webb's new discovery of the most distant star ever and delve into how James Webb appended our understanding of the cosmos. Without any delay, let's get started. James Webb Space Telescope launches astronomy into a new era. Indeed, the history of science could be written as a history of instrumentation, from particle accelerators and microscopes to functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, and telescopes. As instruments become more powerful, they act as reality amplifiers, magnifying our view of the very small and the very large, allowing us to glimpse what is invisible to the human eye. It is hard to imagine that up until 1609, all we knew about the skies depended on what we could see with the naked eye. When Galileo Galilei aimed his telescope at the night sky, he saw what no human had ever seen before. A new sky full of surprises and possibilities. This new sky would reveal a new world order, out with an Aristotelian view of an Earth-centered cosmos, a frozen sky where celestial objects were perfect and unchangeable, and in with a marvelously imperfect heaven. A moon full of craters and mountains, Jupiter with four orbiting moons, now we know there are about 79 and counting. Saturn with ears, that is, the rings that his telescope could not yet resolve, and a Milky Way made of a countless number of stars. New instruments hold the promise of a worldview transformation. As we look deep into nature, our vision of reality and us in it changes. It is then no surprise that the astrophysics community was so excited witnessing the launch of a new marvel of instrumentation, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Even if it is often called the successor of the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, the JWST is a different kind of machine altogether, and it surpasses the Hubble in several ways. James Webb will allow astronomers to look not only farther out in space but also further back in time. It will search for the first stars and galaxies of the universe. It will allow scientists to make careful studies of numerous exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than our sun, and even embark on a search for signs of life there. In other words, the web is a machine for answering unanswered questions about the universe, for exploring what has been unexplorable until now. As Ambrostron, an astrophysicist at NASA who works on the web, said, what we're going to get is a telescope that's about 100 times more powerful than Hubble. But how does Webb improve on Hubble? In two key ways. The first is just its size. Hubble, about the size of a school bus, whereas Webb is like the size of a tennis court. This thing is enormous. Webb is by far the biggest telescope NASA's ever attempted to send into space. But it's not just the total size of the contraption that matters. When it comes to reflecting telescopes, the key component is the size of its curved mirror. You could sort of think of a telescope mirror like a light bucket. The more light you can collect in this bucket, the fainter and farther away things you can see in the universe. Hubble's mirror was an impressive 7.8 feet in diameter. Webb's beautiful gold-hued mirrors combined for a diameter of 21.3 foot overall. That amounts to more than six times the light-collecting area. And what does that mean in practice? Well, the short answer is we're seeing farther back in time with Webb. With Webb, astronomers will be able to see so far back that they'll potentially spot the very first stars and galaxies ever formed. Hubble has seen light dating back to about 400 million years after the Big Bang, which took about 13.3 billion years to reach us. But Webb has the capability to take us to 250 million years after the Big Bang. That might not sound like a big difference. What's a few hundred million years between friends? Actually, it's the difference between seeing the first stars that ever turned on and arriving a bit too late after the funeral. Astronomers call this period when the first starlight shone through the universe cosmic dawn, 
With Webb, humanity will be able to glimpse it for the very first time. On the other hand, unlike Hubble, James Webb is primarily an infrared telescope, so it sees light that's in a longer wavelength than what our eyes can see. This seems nerdy and technical, but it's actually what allows Webb to look further back in time than the Hubble, opening new windows to the early universe. According to Sarah Seeger, a planet scientist and astrophysicist at MIT, the Webb represents the culmination of decades, if not centuries, of astronomy. We've been waiting for this for a very long time. With such great power, James Webb promises to transform our understanding of the universe, and the reality proved that the $10 billion gamble is living up to its bill. The whole world was stunned by Webb's awe-inspiring images and confounding scientific discovery since it began its epic science mission. Within just a few weeks of working, the Infrared Observatory has already discovered several candidate galaxies that quite simply challenge the Big Bang Theory and our galactic evolutionary models. And now, Webb has focused its instruments on the most distant star ever observed that began shining just 900 million years after the Big Bang. The images improve on those taken earlier this year by the Hubble Space Telescope, which discovered this ancient object and provided astronomers with their first glimpse of a star from the early period of the universe. Astronomers call this ancient star Iridale, a word derived from Old English meaning morning star or rising light. It began burning some 13 billion years ago, but because of the expansion of the universe, now sits about 28 billion light years from Earth, making it the most distant star ever observed. Astronomers know it's very old because its light is very, very red. Very old light is red because it's been stretched over time as it travels through space. Extremely distant stars and galaxies appear to move away from us at greater speeds than closer galaxies, so their light is redder. So, the redder a star or galaxy, the earlier in the universe it existed. Iridale's light has a redshift of 6.2, while most stars found using gravitational lensing have redshifts at between 1 and 1.5. Notably, Iridale is only observable because of an extraordinary cosmic coincidence. As seen from Earth, it sits behind a vast cluster of galaxies called WHL 0137-08, with a gravitational field that focuses its starlight towards Earth, magnifying it up to 40,000 times. This gravitational lensing effect makes Iridale's host galaxy appear as a smear of light across the distant universe. Astronomers have named it the Sunrise Arc. The arc contains bright knots of light along its length, and one of those knots is Iridale. JWST's images improve on Hubble's and narrow down the potential size of the star. The star appears as a point of light, suggesting it cannot be greater than 4,000 astronomical units across. These new observations strengthen the conclusion that Iridale is best explained by an individual star or multiple star system, says Brian Welsh at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore and colleagues who have analyzed the images. The team there says that the photometry suggests Iridale has a surface temperature of between 13,000 and 16,000 Kelvin. This in turn, suggests the star is a giant hydrogen-burning B-type star with a mass somewhere between 20 and 200 times that of our sun. However, the team also says that Iridale could be a binary system and that various combinations of stars could better fit the observed data. Indeed, the best fit is a combination of a luminous cool star and a hot companion. For the moment, the data does not allow the team to solve this problem. However, JWST is due to observe Iridale again later this year, when more data could help to constrain the nature of the star or the star system. It will also provide astronomers with more data about one of the universe's very earliest stars. That's interesting work that allows off the extraordinary light-gathering power of the JWST and its older relative Hubble. And now, this instrument is already changing the way we see the universe. Interestingly, not only did it capture the farthest star ever, 
but the James Webb Telescope also detected the most distant act of a supermassive black hole to date. The galaxy that holds the ancient black hole, Sears 109, formed fairly early in the universe's history, just 570 million years after the Big Bang. The act of a supermassive black hole at the center of Sears 109 is unusual, not only for its age and distance but also in that it weighs in at just 9 million solar masses, meaning it's 9 million times heavier than the Sun typically, most supermassive black holes in the universe weigh in at around 1 billion solar masses. The reason it's important is that the James Webb Telescope was able to detect it from an immense distance from Earth. The most recent observation, the distant black hole, a relatively small one, would mean further data, when researchers are still able to only make based on they. The most recent observation of the distant black hole, relatively small in comparison to most supermassive black holes in the universe, marks a significant milestone in our understanding of early cosmic history. The discovery challenges existing theories about the growth of black holes in the early universe, suggesting that supermassive black holes could form and grow much earlier than previously thought. This finding is crucial because it provides insights into how galaxies and black holes co-evolved in the early universe, shedding light on the processes that shaped the cosmic structures we see today. By studying distant objects like Sears 109 and Iridale, astronomers can trace the history of star formation, galaxy evolution, and black hole growth over billions of years. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to observe such distant and ancient phenomena highlights its revolutionary impact on astronomy. It not only extends our vision deeper into space and further back in time, but also challenges our fundamental understanding of the universe's early epochs. As Webb continues its mission, astronomers eagerly await more discoveries that will reshape our cosmic perspective and deepen our understanding of the universe's origins and evolution. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope has already surpassed expectations with its groundbreaking discoveries of the most distant star and an ancient supermassive black hole. These findings not only demonstrate the telescope's capabilities, but also promise to revolutionize our understanding of the universe's early history and its ongoing evolution. As Webb continues to explore the cosmos, it will undoubtedly uncover more mysteries and inspire new questions about the nature of our existence in the vastness of space. Furthermore, James Webb's capabilities extend beyond just observing distant stars and black holes. Recently, it unveiled a stunning image of two young stars, known as Herbig Harrow 4647, nestled within a dusty disk. This image, captured using Webb's powerful infrared sensors, reveals intricate details of star formation processes, such as jets of material being ejected from the stars into space. The image showcases not only the formation of these young stars, but also the surrounding nebula a massive cloud of dust and gas illuminated by the star's radiation. Webb's high-resolution imaging allows astronomers to study these phenomena in unprecedented detail, offering insights into how stars form and evolve within their cosmic environments. Moreover, the telescope's ability to peer through cosmic dust clouds and analyze the chemical composition of distant galaxies opens new avenues for understanding galactic evolution. By collecting spectral data from galaxies billions of light years away, Webb enables astronomers to study the building blocks of stars, the distribution of elements, and the dynamics of galaxy formation across cosmic history. In essence, the James Webb Space Telescope represents a leap forward in our quest to understand the universe's origins and evolution. Its advanced technology and unprecedented sensitivity have already begun to revolutionize astronomy providing a deeper glimpse into the cosmos than ever before imagined. As Webb continues its mission, astronomers anticipate further groundbreaking discoveries that will continue to reshape our understanding of the universe and our place within it. With each observation and data release, the James Webb Space Telescope reaffirms its role as a transformative tool in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Its contributions promise to inspire future generations of scientists and deepen humanity's connection to the vast and awe-inspiring universe that surrounds us. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope's ongoing discoveries underscore its significance in advancing our understanding of the universe. From the earliest stars to the formation of galaxies and the mysteries of black holes, Webb continues to push the boundaries of scientific exploration, revealing the beauty and complexity of the cosmos in ways that were once unimaginable.